Hello, my name is Seth. Today on the table, we happen to have a Whisper Light stove by Mountain Safety Research MSR. One of my favorite stoves. And today we're going to learn about some of the parts and elements, how they operate, and we're going to see it fired up. Putting the stove together, it is a system stove. There is multiple pieces. Fuel bottles come in a couple of different sizes, depending on how much fuel you might need. There's our nice little MSR pump. We got a good squeak. When I connect this all, one important thing I like to think of is where I'm cooking and who's around me and trying to prevent anyone from bumping into me. These stoves do require some focus and dedication of the individual using it. I can't just expect to turn this stove on and walk away. I do need to be present. When I put the pressure into the canister and I open the valve, I'm going to get liquid gasoline that comes through what this tube is gonna do is it's gonna take this liquid gas and heat it up to the point of vaporization so that when I get my air fuel mix down here in my little jet port, I'm burning a vapor and not a gas. When we initially start these stoves, we'll apply a little bit of liquid fuel. We will hear it and we'll also see the bottom cup here getting damp. Once that dampness happens and there's a little puddle of liquid fuel in there, I can light it. I should expect to get about an orange flame about a foot off the deck, so please watch out for hair and any fabric. As that flame dies down and dies down, the heat tube will have been sufficiently heated up. And then if I'm quick, I can just open that. And what I'm looking for is a blue ring of 600 degree flame, an orange cup, and a whole lot of heat source. And as I'm using it, I will need to keep putting pressure into the fuel bottle in order to get that fuel to the stove. The more BTUs I need, the more that I can open it. The less I need, the more I close it down. Also, same with pumping. If I needed more power, I could pump more. If I needed less power for simmering, I can let the stove almost be suffocated. When turning off the whisper light, again, we're gonna close that valve. There's still gonna be some fuel in the line. These also have an inside shaker jet to keep that, uh, the gas orifice a little bit clean. I like to blow out the flame, limits the amount of carbon buildup, and a little shake shake of the shaker jet. Helps keep it clean and running safe for the next time. Thanks for joining me with the next Adventure Gear Talk. If you have questions or are curious, please look us up online, nextadventure.net. Or if you're in the area, in Portland, please come on by and visit. We're happy to help answer your questions and help you troubleshoot which stove might be right for you.